Today I'm going to create um, a drum kit for the OP1 using uh, Native Instruments Machine. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the tempo to um, 160 um, beats per minute. Uh, the reason for this is that I'm just going to use a standard 4-4 four, four, um, um, sequence. Uh, I'm going to set the grid to uh, one quarter, um, the pattern length. Uh, it's just set to one bar for now and sync. I'm just going to set that to one quarter. Um, basically, um, what I want to do is I want to create a pattern um, that's eight bars long, um, which will allow us to capture 12 seconds of sample time needed for the OP1. Um, so, um, if I just um, now go to um, select a kit, in this case, I'm going to select um, a kit from. Uh, the machine, one of the machine libraries, Dark Pressure. Um, I'll select a vinyl kit uh, for this example, and uh, the kit I'm going to use is called um, Oscurita Kit. So I'll just load that in, and I'm not going to load it in with with a pattern. Um, the thing to do next is to make sure that um, any um, any of the pads. Um, basically is not carrying any two uh, any effects that's going to carry too far uh, along the sample time and there's obviously some verb EQ and the beat delay on this pad actually does run for quite a few seconds so I'm going to mute that um, that beat delay so we've just got the basic sound that will capture. The other thing to do is to quickly move into sampling mode and quickly check um, the length of the uh, samples just to make sure that if we're just going to capture um, all 16 pads in 12 seconds um, we don't want each pad to be running too long um, and then we actually chop the, the sample time off. So there's enough um, time available in 12 seconds to capture all these pads. Next we need to just make sure that the pattern length is um, set to 8 bars. So we'll just se select pattern 1 and we'll make sure that's set to 8 bars. Currently it's just set to 1 bar, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, double that um, a couple of times to make sure that it's 8 bars and if we just have a look um, we can see that it's 8 bars uh, in duration. That's to capture our 12 seconds at 160 beats per minute. Okay, so now I'm going to um, play and record the uh, machine um, recorder and I'm going to play each pad to make sure I can capture it within the 12 seconds. There we go. Just check that through. You want a bit of space in between each one just so you can sample it properly in the OP1. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is um, extract the file using uh, drag to, um, to the desktop. Um, so I'll just drag the file to the desktop. And there we have it. This is actually a WAV format. Um, and what we've got to remember is that WAV format is not compatible with the OP1. So what I now need to do is make sure that um, I convert that into an AIF. In this case, what I'm going to use is Audacity. So I'll just open the uh, Audacity um, window and I'll drag the WAV file in. As you can see, it's a 12 second sample. And now I'm going to export that. Okay. 
In this case I'm going to export it to um, the AIF standard. I'm not going to put any metadata in. And there we have it. One thing you need to do is to, um, before you transfer it into the um, OP1, is to change the title so that it only contains 10 characters. So in this case, I'm just going to rename it. Um, I'm going to still keep the Oscurita kit name. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the um, the data that um, came from the machine. So I'll just call it Oscarita.aiff. As you can see now, uh, I've got the OP1 connected through the USB port um, to the computer. I'm going to press uh, Shift COM and put it into disk mode. Um, and the icon will appear on the, the screen for the disk. Um, once it does, I'll open that up. Um, and as you can see, we've got the drum folder, the user folder, um, which contains all the um, the storage um, sounds and I'm going to drag uh, the Oscurita AIF into this folder so once that file's copied over I'll close the folder and eject the disk and as you can see um, the OP1 will reboot um, and now load the file in. Okay, so if we move to the drum sample, the drum browser, as you can see, there's now a user menu, and the Oscarita exists in the, uh, the folder. So that's selected. And you can see that the 12 second sample exists with the the samples contained. So you just need to set up the start and end points. So if we move to the first sample and adjust the the position to get a good capture of the kick another samples can be mapped appropriately. And there we have it.